Yeah, I am really. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, when a plant comes off like this and it's you know, such a valuable race, it's very exciting for everybody. And uh, you know, he proved that you know what a good horse he is. Well, the thoughts at the moment, I think, were highly unlikely to go to the States for the Kentucky Derby. Um, he will be supplemented next week in, for the Investec Derby. Um, but again, we'll just have to see how he is. You know, obviously, you know, there is only one English Derby, but at the same time, you know, is it going to be the right race for him? I think we need to just live with him for a little bit longer and see how he is um, before we really make that decision. But I think we need to keep all options open. Hence, he will get the supplementary entry next week. Um, well, obviously, he's only had one run on it, which is his first run. Um, but he did a fair bit of work on turf last year. Um, Jimmy rides him every day. He soon seemed to think he gave him a better feel on turf when we worked him on it last year. I don't think that's an issue. You know, he's only the reason he's had, you know, four of his five runs on an artificial surface is because that's where the races were for him at the right time. You know, we weren't necessarily looking to avoid grass with him. It's just kind of the way that it worked out. So I don't imagine turf will be, you know, it will be sort of disadvantageous to him. Again, it's an unknown, you know. I mean, he got the nine and a half furlongs well the other day. Um, there's mixed messages in his pedigree. Um, but again, he, you know, I don't think it's impossible he's going to get a mile and a half. Um, you know, if you saw him gallop out the other day after the race, you know, I mean, it took Jamie to halfway down the back to pull him up. And, you know, he's just with a cruising speed like that, you know, it's kind of a bit relentless. Um, you know, could he stay in it for a bit longer? I think the answer is he probably could, you know.